In this tutorial, I'm going to be making little room door hanger signs, I guess is what you would call that. Um, just little signs that are going to hang on the girls' doorknobs to their rooms. Um, I think that this will be a really fun project. I was um, at Hobby Lobby and I saw, um, these are in the bare wood section, but I saw these little um, wood signs. and. Uh, I think it was rope or jute that it was um, connected up here. It was had a little um, rope here, but I took those off because I'm gonna do something a little bit different for hanging. But when I saw these, I thought these would be perfect for little door signs. And I think you guys can do just about anything with these. You could even make one for your craft room that says, I'm crafting, keep out, or anything like that. So um, I'm doing these for my girls, but be sure to personalize these um, for whatever you would like to do or to make um, um, signs for anything else. So um, for this particular project, you're going to need a wood sign. I'm doing two um, and I did paint them. So I painted them both with chalk paint. The white is my favorite. It's the white Adirondack. It's from Folk Art Home Decor. And um, so I did, I think, two coats. And then I did a light sand with an electric sander just to distress the edges. And then also um, the sanding does help just to smooth out any type of paint um, raised paint strokes that you had. I used a foam brush. It's my favorite way to apply the chalk paint to my wood um, designs. Um, and so the sanding just helps get everything super smooth so that the vinyl will lay down really, really nice. So I did that step two. And then for the pink, this is the same brand. So it's the Folk Art Home Decor. And this color is called Vintage Victorian and it's so pretty. So I love how this one looked. So I did paint both the front and the back and again did a light sand on both. So for materials, you're just Going to obviously need some paint. Um, you're going to need your squeegee tool or a scraper tool, scissors, and weeding tool. Um, we're going to measure our um, surface areas for the vinyl, so we'll need a measuring tape. I'm also going to be using this really pretty gingham ribbon that has these sweet little pom-poms. You guys will see when I zoom in later. Um, you'll see more detail, but this is from Hobby Lobby from the Ribbon Boutique um, in the little ribbon sewing section. I love this idea. I'm using this for an upcoming project as well, but I'm going to use this to place inside the um, little holes here for um, hanging. So I thought that would be just a little bit more girly and fun than the rope. So feel free to do whatever. If you like the rope that comes with it, feel free to keep that on. Um, other things, oh, we'll use the Cricut, Cricut Joy today. So that's gonna be really fun. We are gonna be using two different colors of vinyl. We're gonna use this Oracle 651 permanent matte white vinyl for the pink sign. And then we're gonna do the opposite and put pink on white. And this is from Paper Studio, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. Since we're not using smart materials and we're using just regular full-size vinyl, um, we're going to need our little green Cricut Joy mat. And again, this comes with the Cricut Joy. So let's go ahead and measure our design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from side to side and I'm about four and a half inches. And then I'm going to measure from the dots down or the little holes down because that is the workable space that I have. I'm not going to be putting any vinyl up above there. So from the little holes down I have just about four and a half and those are pretty rough measurements but that is good enough for sizing. So we're going to use four and a half by four and a half and now let's pop into design space. I'm going to show you my little idea for these signs and then we can get to using the joy with regular full-size vinyl. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create those little um, wood sign um, boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create um, squares that replicate the four and a half by four and a half inch workable space that we have to work with. So those that is the space that we have just measured. So that again was the width, and then it was from those little circles down on um, the little signs. So I'm going to make this white, and then I'm going to duplicate it because I'm actually going to do front and backs to both of these signs so that the girls can flip them around. So my idea is to say rise and shine darling and then the other one will say sweet dreams darling and I think this will be just a little fun thing to put on their doors. They can switch them back and forth um, before bedtime and at wake up. Um, since we're going to be homebound for quite some time right now I feel like um, just bringing a little bit of sparkle and confetti to any part of our routine is just going to be really important so I think this will just be just a fun activity that the girls can do um, just to make things just a little bit more fun and special around here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, an image and I'm going to add um, 
the word darling, but I don't want to type it out. I actually have found a really sweet um, script font that's already pre-made. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit insert images and then I'm going to size this down a little bit and then just drag this over. And the first thing I'm going to do now for the remaining text is I'm going to add a text box and I'm going to type in sweet and this um, font is called Four Seasons Home Decor. It's really pretty. And on the next line, oh, you know what? I'm going to do sweet first, and I am going to kind of size that. Let's see here. Maybe size it up a little bit. Oops. Okay. And now, since I kind of have this the size I want, I'm going to duplicate it so that my next line is the same size. And I'll just double click that and write dreams and then bring that over. Okay, so the first one will say Sweet Dreams Darling, and I like the um, size, I think that looks great, and the spacing, I'm gonna unlock this and kind of elongate this one just a tad. Okay, looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, duplicate this, because I'm, I'm gonna use the same word on the back, and I am going to duplicate one of these and I'm going to say, whoa, it always wants to grab the back. It's such a stinker. Okay, so I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna say, let's see, the other one will say rise. And then the next line, I like to add my lines with individual text boxes because um, oops, let me delete that because it's not going to be the same. So, well, that's okay because this is actually going to be smaller than everything else. So rise and, and then let's duplicate this. So the reason I'm duplicating them is because I already have the size that I want and that way I don't have to resize each one. Um, and they are all going to be the same size. So rise and shine. Okay. So that looks great. And then are these the same size? They sure are. Okay, sorry, it looked a little bit smaller. Maybe it's just my eye playing tricks on me. Um, and then this is going to be just a tad smaller in between. I think that's gonna be really sweet. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna highlight all of these and I'll drag, whoops, highlight all of them and goodness gracious. Okay, I'll bring you individually over, stinkers. Okay, sometimes it just, takes a little effort to get everything. Are these the same size? These just seem like so, sometimes I hover similar letters over one another just to make sure that like I'll just pair the E's up and the, okay, it looks like it is. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of space everything. So I'm going to just kind of pull this up and get everything kind of spaced where I want it. And then, that looks good to me. So the, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, select just the words and I'm going to come up here and say align center horizontally. And this just makes sure that everything is centered. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Go up to align and say center horizontally and that just centers everything. And I like how everything looks. So now what I'm gonna do is, let's see, do I like the size? I think I'm good with the size. I think that's gonna be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select these and I am going to weld them together because I just did all of the work of centering and making sure the line size or a line spacing between was ideal. So I'm gonna weld these so that they are all one file. So now I will make this a nice pink color because we're going to do pink on the white and I'll do, uh, do the exact same thing for this. And I will uh, weld and then I will click it and make this a nice pink color as well. So now again, we're making another set of these and the other set is going to be on a pink um, sign with white letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate drag it over here and then just make this white. And then I'm going to click this. I'm going to duplicate, bring it over here and make this white. 
Okay, at this point we can now hide these boxes because if we don't, then the Cricut will want to cut out four and a half inch boxes, which we do not need. And now we are all ready to go. So we're gonna go over here and we are going to click our Cricut Joy. And then we are going to say, make it. So now, because we are going to be using um, material that is not smart vinyl that cannot auto load, we are going to do on the mat. So the, again, it reminds us it's for any material. So again, we're using some Paper Studio vinyl that's full size and we're using some Oracle 651 vinyl that's full size. So we will click this one. And then it's just gonna show us um, how it's gonna place it on the mat. So I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit just so I can have a little space to cut in between. I'll grab this one and do the same thing and just cut, give a little bit of grace in between those to cut. And we are good. So again, it's reminding us that we're doing on the mat. We can click continue. And now it's just gonna locate my little joy via Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna go to my favorites. Did I put my favorites in here? Okay, let's see, which setting am I going to do? Okay, so I'm gonna browse all materials and I'm just gonna type in vinyl. Okay, where's the vinyl section? Maybe I'll just find it myself. Okay, so we are just going to do premium vinyl for our setting. And I will star that, that way it keeps it handy for me. And I'm going to use default pressure. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and load the mat with our vinyl and everything will start cutting. Okay, so now I'm just going to load my first mat. And I actually think that the white was supposed to go first, but since they're the exact um, same design, you can, for this project, just put any color in first. And now the joy is completely buttonless, so everything will be controlled via your device, whether you're using your iPad or um, a computer or a phone. So you're just going to place the mat up against the wheels and it will auto load, just like that. And then it's gonna pull it in, make sure everything's aligned, make sure we have enough material, and then you can click go once that button pops up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that's gonna pull it in and get it all cutting. And then I'll prep the white vinyl to go in next. Okay, so now the pink one is completely done and we're gonna load the white and get that cutting. And then we'll start weeding. So let me get this one going. Go, okay. So now for weeding, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna poke an edge and then just start pulling. And then just going slow, that way you don't rip up any pieces that you want to remain down. There we go. Perfect. So I personally like to remove the back um, and surrounding area first. I feel like it just kind of simplifies my eye so that I know kind of where to start next. So now the next step is just going through and taking out all of the little middle letters and then just kind of collecting these little pieces right on your finger or if you have a little desktop trash can then that is awesome. I need to make myself one. I have it on my list and I have the materials but it keeps getting pushed back. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing all the little. Um, for those of you who have a joy and who have had a cricket before, um, I'm wondering if you guys are as amazed as I am at how quiet the joy is. Every time I use it, I'm always thinking, you're just so quiet. Okay, so this first one is completely done. So what I can do is I can just cut these designs apart and they're gonna go right on this board over here. So we'll just kind of set these and start organizing our space as we go. And then we can click the unload button on our device and that looks awesome. So now I'm just gonna turn the mat over and peel away from the mat. And then I'm going to cut off my extra pieces because I have some remaining vinyl. And then we'll get this one all weeded. Okay. And this one will be super easy to see with that nice blue background. I need to start ordering some vinyl 
because um, I'm starting to not run out, but I'm starting to get low on some colors, especially white. Um, so I need to get a little order placed in. Maybe I'll do that today. So just the exact same process as the other one, since it's an identical cut, identical file, just going through and weeding out, come here little guy, the middle pieces, and then the exciting part. Um, so I'll have to grab some transfer tape. So always make sure you're utilizing the description box below because if I forget to mention something um, that I'm going to be using, um, I'll always just stick it in the materials that I use down there. That way you guys know everything you'll need to recreate this look if you would like to. I'm curious, you should leave me a comment and tell me um, what kind of door sign you would make. I think it'd be fun to make one for a craft space that says something kind of cute and witty. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just going to cut those. Okay, and so now we're going to grab some transfer tape and we will get everything um, transferred over to the wood designs and get the ribbon in. Okay, so I think we'll do the little pink one first. And what I did is I grabbed a little piece of my um, masking transfer tape and I love working with this. So I'm just going to place some down and I can even place this one down as well. And if you have, say, a little bit of um, vinyl peeking out from your transfer tape, don't worry, that's totally fine. As long as most of it gets on there, you're golden. So I'm going to cut this piece off and we'll use it for our second one. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scraper tool and just really press the vinyl and the tape together by just scraping down. And this is just going to really help transfer that um, vinyl over to the transfer tape so we can pull it easily off of that blue carrier sheet. Okay, so now we'll just start with this bottom one. Okay, and just going really careful. If you see that some pieces aren't quite um, laying down, you can just kind of lay it back down and rub it with your finger, or your scraper tool, and it just kind of helps transfer it. And also, your weeding tool also does a really good job of just kind of nudging some pieces along. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that one's done, and then we can do this one. like that. Okay, so now let's just cut these little designs apart and we can get them on the wood. Okay. So, ooh, let's start with this one. Place our wood right here. And we'll just center. I think I'll take a little bit of this tape off the side. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that my eye tends to centered the tape more than the design, so I like to make sure that my tape is even on both sides just to help with my centering. So, I think I'll go right about here. Okay, so I'm just going to press down with my finger and then go out towards the sides and then take my scraper tool and just really scrape that down. And then I can just grab a little corner of my transfer tape and pull, and it leaves the design right on my wood. How cute is that? So sweet. Now I can just flip it over and we'll do the other side. And that looks pretty even already. So I'm just gonna center the best I can, make sure it's straight. And lay down. Very easy little project. I think the girls will really like this. Okay. And 
and there we go there's the second side so we have rise and shine darling and we have sweet dreams darling okay so i'm going to go ahead and get the other one ready to go and then we will get the ribbon placed inside okay so now that both of them have their little um letters on them they look awesome so now we're just going to place the ribbon right in there so what i'm going to do is i am going to it's a very um thick uh, wide ribbon so I'm just going to kind of put it in a little circle on the end kind of like this and then I'm going to push it through one of the holes and I am going to just tie a knot right in the back and one knot is going to do the trick so you guys can do this however you want but this does the trick and it'll just hold it okay and then once I have that I can kind of just trim around the edge now this is wire ribbon so there's going to be a little bit of um, firmness in there and then it'll pull just like that okay so now what I'll do is I'll just kind of measure where I want that I think we're going to go just about like that so I'll go a little bit further so I can make my knot and give a little cut and then I'll just kind of roll it again so it'll fit through and press it through okay so I decided to do it on this side um, where the rise and shine is because um, that's the side I'm going to be seeing most of the day <laughs> So obviously I won't be looking at these much at night, but during the daytime they'll be on this side. So I wanted the side to be this way and then the other side to be this way. So do it however you want, but that was just kind of my thought process with doing that. So now I'm just going to tie a knot right here. Just like this. Pull it tight and then cut off the extra. And that looks so sweet. I love that how that looks. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the second one and we'll be all set. Okay, so the second one is all done. I love how they turned out. I think they're going to be a really fun little addition to the girls' little bedroom doors. It'll be really fun. So again, rise and shine, darling. And on the other side, it'll say sweet dreams, darling. So cute. Okay, oops, I need to go ahead and snip this one just a little bit. Forgot. I think I caught that. Okay, now it looks perfect. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this tutorial, these are so easy, you can make them with your joy. Um, make sure you give this a thumbs up. I would love that. And if you guys want to subscribe, I would love that too. I'd love to have you along on my little crafting journey and we are gonna be doing a lot of really fun things coming up on the channel. So make sure you are all subscribed so you don't miss out. I hope everyone has a good week and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.